Hey there all my e-peeps, today is the day for the Tannis Armor giveaway. I'm Tracy the e-lightened artist, that's Floki, and I've been getting such a kick out of all the action I've been getting on this channel since I started busting out these e-bike videos. So much so that when Tannis reached out to say thanks for all the kudos I've been giving them, I was like man it's the viewers that deserve the props, let's hook them up. And you know they're cool like that, so here we go, this one's all about y'all. So in this video, I'm going to share some pics you guys sent me of your bikes, maybe highlight some of the comments y'all had and answer a few questions. And send some armor to the owner of the sweetest ride. So I got to show you all the first bike that got sent to me, near and dear to my heart, because it looks just like mine when it first came out of the box. So we did swap out the seat. Man, that thing looks awesome. And the bag being strapped on top of that rear seat, that's actually a pretty good idea because it gives your gear a little bit of a cushion. Other than that, that thing looks bone stock. He's even rocking the rearview mirrors that came with it. Nothing wrong with that, man. It's a good looking bike right out of the box. I didn't catch his name, but he says thanks for the info on the tire armor and huge thanks for the handlebar turnaround trick. So I guess he did mod it a little bit. The H6 is much more comfortable to ride. Oh yeah, big time. So I don't have a name on this one, so thanks 30148115580. <laughs> Cheers. So this next one's not a 20 inch, so it's not eligible for the Tannis armor, but it's cool. So this one comes from William from Jersey Shore, PA. <laughs> he says, nowhere near Jersey nor the shore. <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of the state. Oh man, these pictures are gorgeous. What a nice place to ride. So he only has 75 miles on this bike. He just got it, but he's already swapped out the pedals, the seat, the seat post. He put flat out in the tires. Sorry, I don't have any armor for you, bro. And he put rear view mirrors on there and he emphasized how important that is. And I agree completely. <laughs> and once his son got a load of his bike, he ordered one. So there's another one on the way. So when you guys buy these bikes, whether you use my link or not, keep in touch with Walkie. Let them know what's going on. Let them know what you like, what you don't like. Because they put all that stuff into action, man. They really want your feedback. And they're always there for you. They're pretty cool. <laughs> this next one's funny. Sometimes I have a hard time keeping the cats off my bikes. This guy has monkeys. So this one comes from James and it looks like he's already got some goodies on there even though he's only had it for a week. Some sweet rear view mirrors and there's some other action up here on the handlebars. A headlight and I don't know what that is but it's cool. James definitely hit me up and let me know what you got going on there. So he also... So we also had a question about how to swap the display over to the odometer reading. So when your bike's on, just tap that power button again, and the bottom four blocks will read your odometer and the wattage, and hit it again, and it'll swap right back. And I gotta tell you, I love the green color. Good call. Okay, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. These next couple of bikes, I'm just straight jealous of, I'm gonna tell you. That black H6, oof, so nice. So this one comes from the Magic Joey, and he says he bought his first e-bike from watching my reviews. Nice. So we had a little back and forth about how heavy these bikes are. He's got to get his up and down a flight of stairs. Now I know these are folding e-bikes, and when you're looking at them online, they look like they're on the petite side, but they are not. These things are huge and heavy. Even when folded, they are dense and awkward. It's not something you're going to throw in the back of a hatchback. And another subscriber asked me if he thought it was a good idea to buy one. He's got COPD and he was hoping to throw one of these in the back of his car. I had to break it to him, man. They are so heavy and awkward. It is really convenient that they fold in half, though. You can get it in and out of the back of an SUV or something. You're just going to have to be careful and you're going to have to be healthy. Could be hernia-inducing if you're not careful. The folding aspect is still real awesome. Because when you lock it up, if you're going to be gone for a while, you can actually break the bike down, fold it in half, pull your battery, lock it up, fold it up, and it's kind of an extra safety procedure. People don't even know what the hell they're looking at. Speaking of safety, this company called Xnito reached out to me. They're going to be sending me a helmet, and I'm going to check it out on camera for you guys, let you know what I think, and just kind of turn it into kind of a safety video from head to my shoes, little flashers on my bike and all that. Now I know I ain't your daddy or nothing, but when you got sweet looking gear like this, being safe is pretty cool. Alright, before we get to our winner, I gotta let y'all in on something. Tannis didn't really send me a set of armor. They sent me two sets. 
So this is what I'm going to do. I can't pick between Joey and James. Keep an eye out in your inbox, guys. I'm going to send you each one liner. Put it in your rear wheel because that's the most important place to have it anyway. Have you ever tried to swap out a tube on a rear wheel on an e-bike on the side of the road? It's a bitch. If you like it, go check out your local bike shop and get you one for the front wheel. If they don't carry Tannis, get a new bike shop. All right, here we are. The winner of the Tannis armor set and the tool set and the tube set and all the decals is my boy Ethan. Oh, I'm so jealous. I mean, how gorgeous is this pic? The sun hitting the water, those gorgeous clouds and the palm trees. Oh yeah, and there's a bike in there. <laughs> Guys, Ethan did so much with this bike. Look at that bag. It changes the whole look of the thing. I've got to get one of those. Those pedals and chain are bling, boy. My favorite part, the 75 tooth chain ring. He says it's an easy swap, just remove the five bolts and solved all the ghost pedalings at max speed on the H6. The only negative is this doesn't come with a chain guard, so your pants might catch some chain grease. <laughs> and of course a seat, and he says this phone mount is one of the best he's ever tried. And my boy hooked me up with all the links, so I'm going to drop those in the description for y'all. Looks like he's rocking his gooseneck backwards and he's got his locked velcro strap to it and the decal delete epic man i'm all inspired by ethan's bike i want to run down to the garage and start tooling <laughs> yeah it's three o'clock in the morning got your set of tennis armor on the way to california for you buddy all right guys it's way past my bedtime i appreciate y'all so much thanks again to walkie e-bikes tennis armor especially cafferty cyclery and now ex nito helmets and definitely stay tuned because it's springtime and i'm about to get these bikes into the mountains and those mountains, and those mountains. I'm a valley boy. Got you all packed up. I can't wait to see my mail lady. I'm kind of sweet on her. Hey, Callie. Yes? Can you send this to Callie? I can. <laughs> Congratulations to the winners. And to everybody else, don't forget to slug, slug that, that bug. bug. Cheers, guys. Is that good? All right, man, got you all boxed up. I'm going to throw some of my drawings in there, too. And a cat. <laughs>